Okay, welcome, good afternoon. Today we're going to be doing uh, absolute value equations. Okay, are you ready to start? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> okay, by request. Yay! <laughs> Mom! <laughs> Yay! Extended ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, on both words. Good job. A. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. All right. So uh, let's begin. This should be relatively short. So uh, I think you'll appreciate that, and I think it'll be fairly straightforward. So absolute value. What does absolute value do? Um, makes yes. It makes it positive. Makes any number positive. What if the number is already positive? Makes it still positive. Still positive. Right on. Good. So, can you think of a possible value for x that'll work here? Anyone? Yes? 12? 12 would work. Let's try. If x was 12, it would be 12 plus 6. Absolute value of 12 plus 6 is absolute value of 18. Absolute value of 18 is 18. So I'm actually going to write x equals 12 here. Okay. Can anyone think of another value? Yes? Negative 24. Negative 24. Why? Uh, because it needs to equal um, 18 or negative 18. What needs to equal 18? <coughs> right, right. So I'm going to circle this in red. So everything inside here needs to be either negative 18 or positive 18. And the reason why is that if it became negative 18, x plus 6, x plus 6 can either result in the number 18, that's this one up here, because that would be the absolute value of 18, or x plus 6 can result in negative 18, because that would be the absolute value of negative 18. And what's the absolute value of negative 18? 18. So that works. So we can solve this by subtracting 6 on both sides, and we have x equals negative 24. One and two. We can check them both. Where to check the 12? If we check negative 24 in here, plus 6 is negative 18. Absolute value of negative 18 is 18. Okay. Any questions on that one? All right. Surprise for you. Here. Yes. Scroll. Well, wait, wait I got to erase. <laughs> Next problem. Three times absolute value x plus 6 equals 36. We need to simplify first. What should we do to both sides? Div yeah, yeah. Divide by 3. Divide by 3, good. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Just multiply by. 3 times the quantity of x plus 6. That's definitely understandable. A lot of people do that. But the reason why we don't is because you recall in the last problem, we actually create two equations. So the 3 would have to multiply by both of those. Okay. Remember before we had x plus 6 equals this, x plus 6 equals that. So now we have a 3 here, so we'd have to multiply twice. Better than that, we can just simplify by dividing 3 on both sides. This cancels, leaving absolute value of x plus 6 equals 12. Now, what can x plus 6 result in? This stuff I'm circling here. Yes? What can x plus 6 result in? 12. So I'm going to write it. x plus 6 can result in 12. Or negative 12. Or x plus 6 can result in negative 12. This process is called bifurcating. Bifurcating. Sounds like, uh, <laughs> like a mathematician breaks up with their significant other or something. I bifurcated last night. <laughs> you know? Didn't work out. <laughs> Posted on Facebook. Like, sad face. I bifurcated. <laughs> like, relationship status. Bifurcated. <laughs> oh my god, you guys are laughing at math humor. Oh, give me respect. Okay. So, we solve both and simply subtract 6 on this one. Leaving what? X equals? 6. six. <laughs> x equals 6 here. Subtract 6 on this one, leaving what? Negative 18. Negative 18. 
All right, and then we can plug in both to verify. Let's go ahead and plug it here. 6 plus 6 is 12, absolute value of 12 is 12. Volunteer to plug in negative 18 here. Yeah, go ahead. Negative 18 plus 6 is negative 12. Absolute value of negative 12? Is 12. So that works as well. Right on. Okay. I have one question. Please. Can't you um, take the absolute value equation and do x plus 6 is equal to 12 and x minus 6 is equal to 12? That's a really good question. All right. And the reason why we can't do that is because the way absolute value works. Oh, you have to apply it to the whole equation. Excuse yeah. Me. You have so to. I mean negative 6 minus 6, I mean negative x minus 6 is equal to 12? And uh, well, that would be, yeah, if, so if you wanted to bring this negative to the whole thing, yeah. then you may. You now, may. without solving the whole thing by dividing by 3 on both sides, is yeah. it possible to do it up there also? Oh, up here? Yeah, so you do sure. negative, Th negative 3 x. x. No, negative, three wouldn't x. it be negative x, which is negative times 3, right. negative x minus 6? Yeah, so that there would be negative x minus 6, and 3 would hit both of those. Mm -hmm. So now you're doing it from the reverse angle, which is fine. Um, but for the same reasons why, yeah, this is either the positive version of this whole number mm -hmm. or the negative version of this whole number. Okay. Because absolute value will remain positive. Right. Take this down. All right, so let's try to do this magically. Scroll. Stop. Wow, <laughs> smart board. Let's have some fun. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Up. <laughs> Not too far. Higher. 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 Not down, dude. It's not very smart. Uh, 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 stop. <laughs> I mean, not dude, myself. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> so 3t minus 5 is an absolute value. 3t minus 5 can result in what? 2t. Positive 2t. Bifurcating, 3t minus 5 can result in what else? Negative. Negative 2t. Because if this stuff that I'm circling in here, 3t minus 5, if that resulted in 2t, that would be the absolute value of 2t, which is 2t. Or if this stuff resulted in negative 2t, I'm going to put it in here, negative 2t, it would be the absolute value of negative 2t, which is also positive 2t. So these this, again, two equation breaking up is called bifurcating. Question, please. Um, if 3t then just goes into 2t, then wouldn't t just equal 5? Yeah, yeah you're five. solving now. Now we can solve. So uh, you said something to the effect of this. Trying to isolate the t's on one side of the equation, resulting in what's left on the left side. Now you're in the zone. Five. Negative 5, yeah, from earlier today. 2t minus 3t is? Negative 1. Negative t. Negative t. T resulting in 5. 5. But What's up? That's only one way. You have to do the other. You side. have to do both, of course. There's two answers in this situation. OK. So we have t equals 5. You can plug in check. I'm going to erase this off. There. 3t minus 5 equals 2t. So we can plug in and check if t equals 5. Volunteer to plug? Go ahead. It would be 15 minus, minus 5 is, is 10. 10. Negative 10. Absolute value of 10. Oh, 10. 10. 2 times t, which is, is 10. So 10 equals 10. So it works there. Can you uh, do what to both sides on this one, your specialty? Are we subtracting 3d? Sure. <laughs> I love how we say your specialty. Is it? I don't know. <laughs> right. That's why I was confused. Yeah. Negative 5 equals negative 5t. <laughs> and then t. t equals 1. Wait, we have to divide by yeah, negative yeah. 5 on both one. sides. 1, yeah. You just got ahead of me. And I was... Right, t equals 1. Here's the thing. Sometimes both answers won't work. You'll have to plug in and verify that it does. Okay. You'll have to plug in. Sometimes it won't always work. So let's actually go ahead and try to plug this one in. Uh, Cornelius. <laughs> Will you plug in one to T here? Ecclesiastes. Um, three. Times. <laughs> three times one equals three. Yeah. Minus 
Minus five is negative two. Minus five is negative two. Absolute value. Two. Two equals two times. One is. is two. So does it work? Yeah. 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 All right. <laughs> Couple more. Couple more. <laughs> Oh, stop that. Okay, good. All right, there is something marked on your paper that's not marked on the board here. So I will, uh, I know, it is. there's something going on with this, and we're going to talk about it in a second. What should we do? Similar to, not the last problem, but the problem before, when we divided both sides by 3, we want to simplify this. What should we do to simplify? Subtract 7 from both sides. Subtract 7 on both sides. Doing it. <laughs> Well, wait, when you, plug it, when you find the answer, when you plug it back in, do you plug it back into the original yeah. coefficient? Or? The original, very good, yes. You want to verify that the absolute value works. Good question. Plug back into the original. Leaving apps val of x minus 3 equals negative 5. All right, we have a hand in the back. Can I call on you in a few seconds? All right, I'm going to make a point, and then you're going to, I'm going to set you up, and you're going to spike, okay? All right. So many of your math books are, you can see that the cover is red, correct? Mm -hmm. Just like your math book is red, so should the flag that raises in your brain when you see this problem be colored. Red. Red flag, right? No, no, red flag, something's wrong, something's oh. wrong. Oh. Uh, what is wrong with this situation? Yes? An absolute value cannot equal a negative number. Right. Do you guys see the left side of this equation is an absolute value? Yeah. Everything I circle here will result in what type of number? Positive. Positive always, no matter what value of x. x could be negative 2. Plug in x negative 2, please. Okay. So negative 2 minus 3 would be negative 5. Negative 2 minus 3 would be negative 5, good. Absolute value of that? It's 5. It's 5. How can something that always results in positive end up as a negative number? It can't. So is there any value that x can be? No. 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 So answer is no solution. no solution. So answer is that there is no answer. Right on. So whenever you see an absolute value equal to a negative number, you set it equal to no solution. Wait, in the original problem? The original, it had a positive, correct? So we didn't see it right away. But in our journey of simplification, we did finally see that an absolute value equals a negative. If you ever see an absolute value resulting in a negative number, no solution. Fair? Fair? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Not fair. <Yeah>. <laughs> Solve this action, please. Absolute value of 1 half x minus 1 equals 2. Ooh. Bifurcate because it's great. Bifurcate and don't be late. I said I bifurcate, feeling so <laughs> sensational. So great. So great. I said great. You can say bifurcate, yep. take the bait. I said I bifurcate. You're my soul mate. Bifurcate. My name is mate. Dog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> All right. I'm going to draw two arrows to imply the bifurcation process. I am going to set up equation number one as help. Uh, yes, sir, Mr. Bob. Bob. <laughs> Mr. Bob. One half x minus one equals two. Second equation, please, uh, George. I changed your name. Why not? One half. Party shirt. You forgot that. <laughs> it's a party. Too much fun. Yeah. One half x minus one. And? One half x minus one equals minus negative two. Very, very good. But from here. Now solve it action. Do you solve it algebraically? So would you add yeah. one to both sides? Add one here. Add one here. Yeah. One half <laughs> x equals. <laughs> I, Everything I, okay? I Everything's. Okay. Structurally stable. Okay. <laughs> Don't mess. We're trying to learn. So yes? Well, shouldn't you multiply both sides by 2? If I multiply both sides by 2, I would have to distribute the 2. So this would become negative 2. So I would recommend adding 1 to both sides first, and now multiplying by 2. When you're solving equations, 
highly recommend moving things over with addition or subtraction first, then use multiplication as necessary. So here we go, times two, times two. X equals six. Someone plug in to check? Yeah. Uh, Robert Gould Shaw. Yes, go ahead. Um, uh, a half plus half, half times, times six. Half times, half times six equals three minus one equals two. Right on. That's the value of that. Okay, so now we're going to add one here. You know what I would like to do? Um, Marilyn Monroe. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> I would like to uh, do what you said and multiply by two first. Could you walk us through the process? Yeah. Because it's still algebraically fine. Go ahead. <laughs> um, so 1x X. equals oh, minus 1. Minus. Oh, minus 2 <coughs> is equal to negative 4. All right. So just as mathematically sound, it's just not as common. Plus 2, plus 2. X equals negative 2. Plugging in, negative 2 times a half is negative 1, minus 1 is negative 2, absolute value of that is positive 2. Alright, last one of the day goes like this, 4,500, Absolute value of 3x minus 1 equals negative 450. Oh, <laughs> oh man, so hard, what am I going to do? <laughs> <laughs> Actually waving a folder to... It's, it's red. Yeah. Oh, red flag! Oh, red flag! Uh, red, here, let me try. So what did this do for you? <laughs> 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 Let's see it. I can see it. <laughs> 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 there you go. What's the answer, class? No solution. No solution. <laughs> Give yourselves a hand. Don't look at the game after we started. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> Love <laughs> solos. Well Anyone else? Anyone else? No. No. Jonathan. <laughs> no one can compete. No one else? Okay. So we can end on uh, awkward and capture. Everyone, do, everyone be awkward right now. <laughs>